I really don't understand you, Major Nelson. In fact, I never have. We've been through some baffling experiences before, but this, this is incredible. Would you mind telling me what you're doing in armor? Never mind. All I can say is that I've never been so relieved in my life. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's done it to me again. <laughs> Captain Nelson? <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hello. Who are you? I'm nobody. I, I mean, I just dropped by to cook Captain Nelson's dinner. Oh, do you do this often? Oh, every night. Well, strange. He's never mentioned you to me. I'm Colonel Bellows, the base psychiatrist. I know. Oh, Captain Nelson's talked about me? Every day. Well, I gather you and Captain Nelson must be old acquaintances. Oh, we are bosom friends. Are you? Well, I'm afraid I didn't get your name. Uh, Jeannie. Oh, I'm delighted to meet you, Jeannie. Mmm, that smells good. Ooh, the bread, the pie, or the cake? <laughs> You're baking bread, pie, and cake? Oh, yes. Captain Nelson loves my baking. Well, you may be just what the doctor ordered. Uh, I, I am afraid I do not understand. Well, there are so many flighty young girls around, it's a pleasure to meet a real, old-fashioned homebody for a change. <laughs> I mean, wife material. If you don't mind my saying so, it looks as though Captain Nelson has struck gold. Oh, I do not mind your saying so. <laughs> For his own sake, I hope he appreciates you. I just finished making a survey of married astronauts, and uh, Captain Nelson uh, is in a lot of trouble. Oh, he appreciates me. He appreciates... I will show you. Oh, I couldn't stay away oh. another minute, Captain. Look who's here. Who's he? <laughs> I, I, I've seen men in love before this, but, uh, well, this is, uh, uh, this is marvelous. Uh, how soon are you going to be married? Tonight, now. Well, that may be rushing things a bit. Uh, oh, why don't we say Sunday? I can't wait. A Sunday will be fine. Uh, I'll spread the good word. Oh, I, uh, I hope you'll have me to dinner. Oh, no, we will often. Uh, thank you, Jeannie. Um, carry on, Captain. <laughs> Stop it, he's gone. Oh, darling, I love you. I hope I did not get my master in trouble. to go. phoned me and told me to rush right over. I did not. Oh, did I? I really don't know. You don't know whether or not you phoned me? Well, of course I did. Well, Captain, I'm a sick man. I think my heart just stopped. Your heart just stopped? Yes. I think I'll rush right over to the base hospital and turn myself in for observation. Uh, well, what about my uh, fitness report, sir? Oh, Captain, in my condition, who am I to presume to judge anyone? <laughs> I'm sorry, Master. Is there anything I can do? It looks like Dr. Bellows has finally caught me. And this time, he's got a witness. <laughs> You're saying that Tony Nelson rained on a town called Four Corners? 
He not only rained on it, General, he flooded it out. Doctor, I'm warning you, this is the last time... General, I've got them right where I want them. They're meeting us in my office. Boy, when you make it rain, you sure don't fool around, do you? <laughs> I'll, I'll try to figure out some way to help your brother and his family. I'd sure appreciate that. Yeah. First, I've got to figure out a way to help myself. Now, Major Nelson. I'll handle this. Tony, Dr. Bellows is under the impression that you can control the weather. Can you? No, sir, I can't. Uh, Sergeant Roberts. I you... said I'd handle this. Yes, General. Sergeant Roberts, do you have any proof that Major Nelson can make it rain or snow? Well, I haven't any proof, uh, no, sir, but uh, it sure did come down cats and dogs down in Alabama. And it was made... Doctor! Else. That's all, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Can you make it rain or snow? No, General. Yes, you can. Uh, make it snow. Uh, Dr. Bellows, honestly, try. Snow. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Doctor. I'm so sorry about all this, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it was all a coincidence. Snow. Could it wait until a little later? I, I'm in the middle of a report. The but General it's Peterson's urgent, right. sir. I, I feel it's really quite urgent. Oh, sit down. If you don't mind, I'd rather lie down. <laughs> What's your problem? Well, it all started when I was a small boy, and then when I was three years old, I wanted a dog. Oh, not just any kind of a dog. No, not for me. I, I wanted a monk. Uh, Major, is that significant, Doctor? <laughs> if you could just tell me what your problem is. I'm getting that. <laughs> My father wouldn't buy me a dog. So I stole one. Major, General Peterson is waiting for this report. If your dog can wait. Oh, the dog can wait. I can't. <laughs> I walk down the street now. I see a dog. I, I have this... Terrible compulsion to kidnap it. <laughs> oh, it's not just dogs. It's chickens and sheep and goats and horses. And... Just a moment. And so, in less than a year, I collected 33 dogs, 27 cats, 7 horses, and a milk cow. That's the most amazing thing I've ever heard. Um, where do you keep all these animals, Major? Oh, in, in barns, mostly. <laughs> That's amazing. Is it? Well, yeah. We're really on to something. Where are you going, Don? Well, I'm going to start writing this up. I haven't told you about the fish. <laughs> fish. Yes. Well, that's what happened to me. That's not so unusual, Major. And then it started talking to me. <laughs> you mean it, uh... Moved its mouth? I mean, it talked. What did it say? Well, it had this high, squeaky little voice, and it said... It said... Tony! Major Healy. Oh, Dr. Bellows. I'm busy, Major Healy. Oh, sorry, I just came in to wish someone a happy birthday. Oh, you found somebody's birthday, did you? <laughs> Certainly did. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm just as sentimental as the next man, Major Healy, but I'm in the middle of a psychoanalysis. Would you mind closing the door behind you as you leave? Oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> finished telling you about my dreams, sir. Your dream? Yes. Oh, didn't I tell you that was a dream I had last night? <laughs> you mean you don't have a compulsion to steal animals? Oh, well, no, sir. I mean, I love animals, but I certainly wouldn't go around stealing them. Not <laughs> totally. <laughs> a dream. Well, Major Nelson, here are the reports on... <laughs> You're up to your ears in papers. <laughs> you notice that, too, sir. Major, uh, why are you up to your ears in papers? Well, uh, the, uh, we, uh, well, uh, we're, we're cleaning out the files, sir, you see, and then the window was open and it blew all the papers all over. Yeah, that's right. 
Where 40 feet below ground level, there are no windows. <laughs> well, uh, the air, uh, no, actually, the air what happened was... Uh, please. <laughs> Here we are. This is so exciting. Exciting? Oh, yes. I'm not allowed out of the house very often. You're not? No. And you know, it gets so tiring watching three movies on television. <laughs> of course, the plot to the second one was lovely. It was about this boy and girl who were engaged. And the mother objected. Engaged? That's it. Now I remember. Weren't you and Major Nelson engaged? I, I hardly know Major Nelson. <laughs> I see. Um, tell me, uh, where are you from? Where am I from? Yes. Uh, where were you born? Uh, where was I born? <laughs> <laughs> you must have been born somewhere. You know where you were born. Oh, of course. Of course. In the... I owe hope. I Oho. Oh, Iowa. Oh, Iowa. What? Chicago. <laughs> Lovely city. Tell me, what part of um, Chicago did you live in? The lake section? No, no, the mountains. The mountains. <laughs> did you, um, Ever climb to the top of uh, Mount Chicago? Oh, yes. <laughs> we used to do it all the time. Did you? Hmm. Fascinating. Uh, tell me, um, what business was your father in? He was a used camel salesman. I beg your pardon? A uh, used car salesman. Oh, very interesting. I like this. Well, so do I. As a matter of fact, it may turn out to be the best lunch I've ever had in my whole life. Oh. <laughs> Tell me more about yourself. May I? Oh, I love to talk about myself. Well, when I was a little girl in Chicago, my mommy and daddy and I could never go away for weekends. We loved to climb Mount Chicago, but daddy always had to be home to feed the camels. <laughs> the cars. <laughs> and Mama used to pack this marvelous lunch in a wicker basket. Good evening, Jefferson. Good evening, Major. It's a jail. Yeah, I guess, but I know it looks like a jail. In the <laughs> middle of your living room. Hmm. Major, tell me, uh, what are you doing in your pajamas in a jail in the middle of your living room? Oh, uh, well, as a matter of fact, I was working, working on an experiment. Working on an experiment. <laughs> <laughs> this time, Major, I'm not buying. You're not buying? You think I'm going to rush back and tell General Peterson that you're here in jail. And then he'll say to me, Doctor, you better be right this time, or I'll have you analyzed again. <laughs> and then I'll say, oh, no, General, I saw it with my own eyes. And then I'll bring him back here, and there won't be any jail, and he'll have me analyzed again. <laughs> Is that what you think? Well, uh, no, I... You're wrong. Do you know how many times I've been analyzed in the last six months? I'm seeing three different analysts three times a week. Hmm. Makes life rather difficult. Well, I'm sorry about hmm. that, sir. It uh, looks like a real jail. It uh, feels like a real jail. Oh, that's a nice touch. Hmm. Well, if, uh, if you want a jail in your living room, good luck. Uh, good night, Major. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Dr. Bellows? He's probably waiting in your office, sir. Oh. <laughs> Must have stopped. <laughs> It's snowing. Major Nelson has done it again. Hey, Jeannie, 
We are right on schedule, Master. It is snowing inside. Turn it off in there and turn it on in Dr. Bella's office. We made a mistake. You did? Yes. Oh, yes, Master. Right away. Major Nelson. Major Nelson, I know you're out here somewhere. Dr. Bellows. Oh, uh, General Peterson, quick. It's snowing in your office. Snowing in my office. You don't have to believe me. Just look. <laughs> but it was snowing. I swear. Major Nelson's behind this. He did it once before. It's in my report. It's on page 100. There, there, Doctor. Now you just relax. Everything is going to be all right. Now, General, I assure you, I was sitting in that chair. It suddenly snowed. Right. Yeah. 